welcome back. Today we learned the switch statement. This is similar to the if statement as it can display different outcomes or outputs depending on what the user inputs. It's a little bit cleaner than the if statement because the if statement can get messy. The switch statement allows you to read things a little bit clearer. And I'll show you how that works today. What you see on the screen right now is the basics. Uh, I shouldn't have to explain that right now, but let's just start it out. Instead of using integers and floats, we're going to use character today. And the command for that is char, character. We'll do age. The difference between character and integer is that with the integer, you don't need any quotes. With the character, you need a single quote. With strings, you need a double quote. We see that in C outs. Okay, let's start it. We'll do C out. Please enter letter associated with your age. I'm going to do something new today here, slash n. This means a new line. It'll start a new line. This way you don't have to do an e and dl, although it'll do the same thing in the end. We'll just start it off the next line, a, to 17 years and below. I haven't explained this program to you. <clears throat> it's basically that the user will input th one of three choices, A, B, or C, depending on where his age falls into, and the program will output how much a ticket will cost him. Here we're assuming it's a ticket to a movie theater or maybe a, a theme park. <clears throat> Let's do this. We'll do B, 18 years to 64 years, slash N. Once again, you can do this with E and DL. You also have to cascade it. It has the same effect. I'll show that to you as well. We'll do C, 64, 65 years and above. We'll do slash N, E and DL. Uh, it just adds an extra line. If you want to see what that looks like, we'll do a system pause. And I'll run it for you right now. <clears throat> as you can see, they're on different lines. And the EN, extra EN deal here puts an extra line here in between the system pause. Now that we have that, we'll have to tell the program what the user is inputting. We'll do CN age. We're telling the program that the user is inputting age. In this case, it will be A, B, or C. This is where we start the switch statement. Actually, we have to do a uh, regular C out first. The ticket will cost you. Uh, the only reason we're doing the C out before the switch statement is because the switch statement will determine what the end of this phrase is, the end of the sentence is, and that'll be just a regular dollar amount. <clears throat> so we'll start the switch statement now. The switch parentheses age. You need to open a bracket. Remember to close it just in case you forget later on. And we'll do this. Case A colon, not semicolon, C out, $10. As you can see, this is in single quotes. That's because I'm using character here. If it was a string literal, it would be double quotes, but I'm not doing that right now. Remember to end it. We'll do break. This just means this is the end of this out. That means if the user selects A, the only thing that will display is $10 and nothing else. Otherwise, it will just go over to the next line. So we'll do case B, colon again, C out. Let's do $20. Break again, case C, single quote, colon, C out. We'll give them a discount, we'll do $15 break once again. That's what it looks like. So if the user input C, I mean, excuse me, A, the program will read this ticket will cost you $10. If they input B, it'll read the ticket will cost you $20. Same thing for C, the ticket will cost you $15. The break stops it. But what if the user wants to input, let's say, D, just to mess with the program or even a number? We want to tell the user that it's an invalid entry, so we'll do default colon C out invalid entry break this is telling that any other the default means any any other value besides A B and C the above three cases the program will display invalid entry I already ran this program once before I know it's a little crowded so I'm going to see out ENDL here 
and let's run it. <clears throat> as you can see here, please enter the letter associated with your age. Let's do A as a test. Enter. The ticket will cost you $10. That's about right. Let's run it again. Let's do B as a test. The ticket will cost you $20. That's correct. And we'll run it one last time with C. C. Well, let's do it B. It says ticket will cost you is invalid entry. That's the default. Uh, it's pretty easy. I know some people uh, want to use want to ask what happens if they use small case letter. It'll give invalid entry. There are ways to fix that. The easiest way without adding without including anything new, you can do A and just do a colon here. Just don't add a break or end it with a semicolon beyond this point and it'll take this as in if it's either A or if it's capital A it'll display the same value. Let's run that. I'll show that to you as well. This is small case A. The ticket will cost you ten dollars. Since I didn't add a small case B, let's do B. Small case B, it'll say invalid entry. You can do this for all three but there are ways to include it so that the program recognizes both capital and lowercase letters. That's probably another tutorial for another day but right now the switch statement just shows you that it's a really good alternative for the if statement and it does work it's cleaner it's you can read it much easier and well that's about it for the switch statement right now there's a lot more you can do with it you can put entire equations here you can turn it into different uh, different options you can have different levels of switch depending on what the option the the user chooses I might show that to you later on make maybe five or six different levels of switch statements and show you that you can follow this through come back it's pretty easy it's pretty simple and I hope you've learned a little bit more about the switch statement it it can get a little confusing if you have any questions let me know if you want a copy of this program also let me know I'll send it to you Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.